What's up everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Peach Theory from Club Nasty here on the North Coast. My name is Peach. Her name is Peach. When was the last time you worked out? With you, whenever that was. Here? Mm-hmm. That was a few months, months ago, ago. Right? You would say you're a beginner, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, pretty much starting from ground zero. In this series, we are going to chronicle Peach's start from beginner to doing a pull-up. What we're gonna do is start you slow, just with some basic exercises that are gonna work the muscles that are used to do a pull-up. We're not even gonna think about pulling yourself up on that bar for at least a couple months. All right, we gotta slowly progress up to that. The goal is going to be a pull-up in the year 2022. Now that we're warmed up, we're ready to get into this. We're gonna start with some simple hangs. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's get after it. First exercise, starting out with some basic hangs. The hangs are going to help improve grip strength and forearm strength. They're also really good for decompressing the spine. And studies have shown that hanging can improve your other lifts. One thing you want to avoid is the constant swinging back and forth. So the goal when you go to start is to stabilize your core and to have as little motion as possible when you are hanging. Keep your toes pointed forward and your legs flexed to avoid energy leaks. Next up, some lat rows on the incline bench. The lats are a very important muscle for doing a pull-up. Take a nice, stable stance on the bench and use a pair of dumbbells that allow you to go nice and slow, feeling the tension in the lats on the way up, holding for a split second, and then dropping them back down to the bottom. Under control with the lats the entire time. Make sure you are not swinging at the bottom of this exercise. That'll help you avoid using momentum to drive the weight back. Next up, we got some bent over flies. These are going to target the rhomboids, the teres major, the teres minor, the rear deltoids, all essential muscles for doing a pull up. Keep your back straight, keep your head up, and try to imagine those weights going in a straight line away from your body. Also, be sure that your elbows are slightly bent. If you try to stiffen your elbows, you're just gonna put a lot of unnecessary pressure on them. Okay, final exercise, some trap shrugs with a dumbbell. A great exercise for building the traps and the rhomboids, two muscle groups that are going to work together to stabilize your back and pull back your shoulders. All essential movements for doing a pull-up. Trap shrugs are also great for improving your posture, especially if you are somebody who sits down for extended periods of time throughout the day. Another exercise where it's very important to make sure that you are staying in control. This is not a race. You want to feel the tension on the traps the entire way through the movement, from the bottom up to the top and that little squeeze at the top. How do you feel after that workout? Pretty good back workout, right? Yeah. Yeah? We did all of the essentials today hit all the muscle groups that you need to do a proper pull-up. And remember, this is just the first workout in a series. We're gonna progressively overload you until the point where you're ready to pull yourself up on that bar. But that's not gonna be for a few months. You said you were sore, but it feels good. It's a good sore? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Yes. Do you have a, a favorite exercise that we did? Mm, I like the shoulder shrugs. Okay. The best. Yeah, the trap shrugs. Yeah. Still in the bag. Also a little bit of the shoulders too. Thanks again for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come along for the journey. We're about to go inside, start the recovery process, and design a workout for next time. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments down below. Let her know how she did. We'll see you guys next time. Peach Theory from Club Nasty on the North Coast.